Assalamu alaikum and a very warm welcome to 130th joint meeting of meeting where we are having joint meeting with RTC and ICMAP, <clears throat> Toastmasters Club. Fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests, Toastmasters Club is a place where we provide mutually supportive and learning environment where each member gets equal and fair opportunity to develop oral communication and leadership skills. Before I proceed further, I request all of you to please uh, put all your notifications to silent. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. As it's an online meeting, I would uh, request all of you, if it is convenient for you, to please uh, put your uh, put yourself on mute and keep your videos on for a more fun filled and uh, interactive session. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now I would like all of you to please recite the motto of club with me, and that is for better uh, thinking. For better for thinking. Better thinking. For better listening. For better listening. For better speaking. For better for speaking. speaking. We learn by doing. Learn Learn by doing. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now I would like to hand over a meeting to a very passionate and a newly elected president of our Pini Toastmasters Club, Toastmaster Hassan Akram. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much, Sergeant and Arms, Toastmaster Rabia Tariq. How many of you live in a moment? Please raise your hands. How many of you live in a moment? Right, very, very nice. Now, let me share a small story about a very wise man. So many people visit that wise man to seek help for. And one day, a lot of people gathered and complained about some problem over and over again with that wise man. So one day, the wise man decided to tell them a joke. So he actually shared a joke with them and all of them roared with laughter and a few minutes, after a few minutes, he told the same joke again and only few of them smiled, but nobody laughed. And then he told the same joke for the third time, but no one even smiled. The wise man looked at them, smiled and said, you can't laugh at the same joke over and over again. So why are you always crying about the same problem? So my fellow Toastmasters and guests, worrying will not solve your problems. Worrying about something just creates more problems. So learn to let go of worrying and try to live in a moment. When you live in a moment, there is no worry, there is no stress, and everything is just beautiful and calm. And that's how we should live our life. With this, I would like to congratulate the winners of the last meeting. So for the best table topic speaker, the award went to Toastmaster Anas Mansur. So a round of applause for Toastmaster Anas Mansur. The best evaluator award went to Toastmaster Suheb. So a round of applause for Toastmaster Suheb. And the big three award went to none other than Toastmaster Akash Kumar. So a round of applause for Toastmaster Akash Kumar. And due to over time, we didn't have any best prepared speaker. So that was it. Uh, with this, uh, I would like to uh, have some introduction from guests. So, Mohammed Ashfaq, uh, can you hear me? Mohammed Ashfaq, uh, can you hear me? And uh, can you please introduce yourself? Next up, we have Shafakat. Uh, sorry, Shafkat. Uh, Shafkat, can you please unmute yourself and uh, introduce yourself, please? Hello, my name is Shafkat, and I'm from Karachi. Uh, I'm a branch manager in National Bank. 
All right, lovely to have you, and uh, hopefully you will learn a lot from this meeting. Thank you for so much for your introduction. Thank you. Uh, next up, uh, we have, uh, I think, uh, yeah, guest Saeed. Guest Saeed, can you please unmute yourself and uh, introduce yourself? Hello, good afternoon. My name is uh, Lu Dong. That's my Chinese name. I came from China originally. Right now, I'm living in Islamabad. My Islamic name is Muhammad Sayyid. Am I coming? I'm um, one question. Am I coming at the right time on your yeah. National yeah. Independence Day? Thank you. Thank you so much. Lovely to have you. And uh, definitely looking forward to have you in our next meeting as well. Thank you so much. Um, next. Mohammad uh, Ashfaq, can you hear me? No. Uh, we have another guest, uh, Mubashir Naseem. Uh, Mubashir Naseem, can you please unmute yourself and introduce yourself? Uh, Mubashir, we can't hear you. There's no sound. Uh, that's okay, we can have uh, your introduction at the end of the meeting. So that's okay, we can meanwhile can fix that. But this, I would like to hand over the meeting to the president of ICMAP Toastmaster Club, Toastmaster Farasad Hussain, to please uh, share his thoughts. Uh, Toastmaster Farasad, the virtual floor is yours. Are we waiting for someone? Uh, yes, I handed over the meeting to Prasad Hussain. Sorry? I handed over the meeting to Toastmaster Prasad Hussain. To Toastmaster Prasad, okay. Am I audible? Thank you, thank you very much. I didn't realize it. Uh, no, you are audible. Okay. Thank you very much, Toastmaster. I'm audible and visible. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Hassan Akram. President RTC, Toastmaster Akash Kumar, Area Director 9, Toastmaster Rabia, VP Education, and Toastmaster Amirville for setting up this wonderful show today. And what an occasion for Independence Day. So hats off all of you for setting up this joint session on for Independence Day. Fellow Toastmaster and guests, today we are celebrating our 75th Independence Day with full of jubilation, enthusiasm, and zeal. And why not? We guard this piece of land, the country where we live independently and freely. But with that, we also realize, we need to realize that we have, this country is laid down, established with certain goal and objective. And we need to see and introspect whether we are sticking with those objective and foundation of this country or not, that's the important question. And you will find the different answer to those to these questions. And generally these days, people are a bit pessimist and they say, no, we have a lot of issues, a lot of challenges, a lot of problems. Yes, those are there. We are not immune to those problems and issues. Every country is facing certain kind of challenges and issues, problems. But thing is that we need to see the I know bright side of the kind, not only all the time see the flip side. We need to see the silver line in the clouds, and we need to be see the positive thing in this country. This is an amazing country and have abundant natural and human resources. We have 50% of the population which is under 30 year old. That's amazing. But, but we need, just we need to train them. Just we need to educate them, provide them the opportunity to flourish, to you know, uh, provide them the chance to you know, serve this country in a better way. So this club, Toastmaster Club is the best place to coach, to 
you know, trained, provide the necessary skills. And we, what we provide here, communication skills, leadership skills, and public speaking. And we in this country facing the main challenges, the leadership challenges. We have the leaders, but they don't have the vision. And we also face the managerial issue in this country, goodness issue in this country. So this is the best place, the Toastmasters is the best place where we learn. And we hope we learn, we learn by doing. And we learn from each other experience. So uh, with that, I'm going to hand over this uh, lectern to, virtual lectern to the uh, Toastmasters of the evening. I hope we will have the wonderful session today. And you know, I'm thankful to RTC president and everybody who contributed to having this giant session. Over to uh, Toastmaster of the evening, uh, Toastmaster of the event. Thank you very much. Thank you, Toastmaster Parasar. That was a wonderful uh, introduction. Now, yep. moving on, this session today is a very special one, and it is special for three <laughs> reasons. One, of course, we are celebrating the Independence Day of our beloved homeland. Second, this is the first joint session of RTC with another club in this year, 2021-22. And thirdly, for a personal reason, I have been a student at ICMAP as well. So ICMAP is my alma mater. And today, it gives me a feeling of proud to be a part of both sides somehow. Um, and with that, I think we can move ahead. And I would like to ask you all, what is that one item which, which is always there in such kind of ceremonies, in such kind of events? Can you unmute yourselves and give me some feedback? What is that one item which has to be there in such kind of ceremonies? National anthem. Perfect, spot on. So let's just unmute ourselves and sing along the national anthem. Can you all unmute ourselves, please? Please join me in, sing in singing along the national anthem. Boxers of Now, without further ado, I would like to introduce my team today, which will ensure that the event goes flawless and it sails smoothly. Let's begin with the timer. Timer today is TM Rabia. She is the VPPR. She is a homepreneur. She is a mother. TM Rabia, can you please explain the role of a timer today? Thank you uh, very much for the kind introduction. Uh, yes, I am the timer for today. I'll show the red. Uh, uh, yes, I'll show the, uh, the yellow card uh, for table topic. I'll show the, the yellow card for one minute. Uh, at two minutes, I'll show the red card and green card and red card at two minutes uh, for uh, spe uh, prepared speak uh, speeches. Uh, time will be five to seven minutes, and for evaluation, time will be. Two to three minutes. I'll show my. I'll give my report once called upon. Thank you. 
So that's all from my side of the team. Thank you. And everyone is requested to pin TM Rabia, please, so that you do not exceed the time. Next one is going to be the grammarian and uh, TM Farasat, who is the president of ICMAP. He has kindly agreed to be the grammarian as we were short of one at the last moment. So yes, TM Farasat. Is he here? Mm. Okay, I can explain that. So um, as a grammarian, he will be looking for the use of good grammar or if there are any mistakes. And the word of the day is zenith. Zenith means to be at the peak of something, just as in the 80s and 90s, Pakistan was at the zenith of the Scottish arena. Now moving on to the R counter, TM Hazir Badshah, who is the VPPR of the ICMAP Toastmasters Club. He is the uh, R counter today. TM Hazir, if you can please explain your role. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the uh, day. Uh, good evening. Today I will be playing the role of R uh, counter. Uh, the purpose of the ah uh, counter is to uh, note words and sound that are used as crunch words, pause uh, pillar by anyone who speaks. Even in the meeting, I will listen for overused word, including and, well, but, so, as you know, uh, such kind of words. I will also listen the pillar sounds ah, uh, um, ah, uh, ar, uh, etc. So I will uh, be noting these words, and at the end, I will present my re report. So over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. Thank you. And now we move on to the vote counter. The vote counter today is TM Rabia. She is the secretary of Ralphindi Toastmasters Club, and she has also started a new club. So a very seasoned Toastmaster. Yes, TM Rehana. Uh, TM Rehana, sorry. TM Rehana, yes. TM Rehana, would you like to please? explain the role of the vote counter. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Saira. As a vote counter, I will be sharing a poll in the Zoom chat, in the Zoom chat, and I will request all of you to choose the best prepared table topic speaker, then best prepared speaker, best evaluator, and then best of the big three. Over to you, Toastmaster Saira. Thank you. Now we'll formally begin the proceedings. There will be three segments. The first one is the most loved one by all, table topics. It will be followed by two prepared speeches today, and then there will be the evaluation segment. For the table topics today, the table topics master is the VP Education of ICMAP Toastmasters Club. He is currently working in the internal audit department of OGDCL. So let's give a big hand to TM Amir Gul. Toastmaster Amir Gul. Thank you, Toastmaster of the evening. Hope I am audible and visible. Yes, you are. Yes. You Hello, are. Toastmasters. Hello, Toastmasters and distinguished guests. Today, I welcome you all in one of the most exciting, entertaining, and the challenging segment of the meeting that is called Table Topic Session. This session provides you an opportunity to practice impromptu speaking, in which you will learn the art of thinking skills, which help you find your thoughts quickly and respond to a topic in a very organized way. I will float the topic towards the audience and pick among you randomly. Then you have to speak at least one minute and maximum two minutes, 30 seconds in order to qualify for the best prepared speaker award. So let's start the session show formally. But before that, I may request to use the word of the day, Zenith, during the course of the meeting. So are you with us? Let's start the show. Are you agreed? Agreed. 
Okay, thank you so much. Fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests, today is the Independence Day of our country. Different people celebrate in different ways. Some people celebrate to sleep all the day. Some people will celebrate by wearing the green and white clothes, spend with their children, wearing these gadgets or badges, and someone different or someone uh, spend their day to plant a tree for the well environmental factors. So my question is, how we celebrate our Independence Day in Trivia? How we celebrate our Independence Day in Trivia? For this, I may request Postmaster TM Daniel Ahmed. TM Daniel Ahmed, are you with us? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Am I audible? Yes, you are audible and visible. Okay, thank you. How we celebrate independence day in two ways. Okay, uh, can you repeat the question from the end? How I celebrate independence day? As I earlier told, uh, different people have a different way of celebration. Someone celebrate by wearing the green and white clothes, someone plant the trees, or someone spend in sleeping whole day. But in your point of view, how we celebrate Independence Day? What is a true way to celebrate the Independence Day? Over to you, Toastmaster Daniel Lehman. Okay, okay. Thank you so much to uh, Table Topic Master for giving me such an amazing topic. According to the uh, according to today's environment surrounding and uh, you know the everyone energy because of the Independence Day, I can see everyone is looking very amazing, wearing white and green. So my topic is how do I think is the true way of celebrating Independence Day. So according to me, what I do from, uh, I know, I think I was five to six years old, I have been doing it uh, with my parents and we still do it at every Independence Day. Uh, we bring a lot of those uh, you know, small flags called jandis. Uh, I hope everyone knows what are they. And we celebrate our uh, uh, outside, not uh, too much because uh, we have a big lawn. So we just uh, do a limited amount of uh, limited space and we um, uh, decorate all of that. And uh, this time I didn't do it myself because I was a little busy, but my brothers did. And I can see them still decorating uh, uh, the Brahma and stuff. And uh, one thing we should not do <laughs> is that uh, pa I really don't like that. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. Okay, it's good for uh, little kids, but uh, a lot of it uh, causes headache. And we should also think about other people uh, because it's at the day of peace and joy. So instead of creating difficulty for other people, we should be uh, uh, giving uh, to other people. <laughs> and <I don't> know. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> just, uh, yeah, we can get, ha get together, do sing songs, uh, patriotic songs, cut a cake or something and enjoy to our fullest. Uh, tell each other stories. Everyone has a story and Take out the best of it. Enjoy it. That's all from me. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Daniel. It means you are celebrating your Independence Day in conventional way. It's usually, all people celebrate. Thank you so much, Toastmaster. Hello, Toastmasters and distinguished guests. You might have heard. People talk about the rights. Everyone say, it is my rights, it's my rights. But you have not heard the people, it's my responsibility. It's my responsibility to accomplish this type of the talk. So my question is, what we have done for our country? For this, I am a request, Toastmaster, 
Toastmaster Mohammad Imran. Toastmaster Mohammad Imran, sir, are you with us? Yes, dear brother. Toastmaster Imran, are you? Yes, I am always there uh, having a heartbeat meeting with you guys. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, thank you so much. My question is. Yeah. Yeah, please. We repeat always the talk question. about our rights, but we always talk about our rights, but we don't talk about our responsibilities. So, my question is. What we have done up to now for our countries. What okay. we have done and for uh, our countries. I oh. got, I got, I have got your question. Uh, can you please tell me what is the word of the day? The word of the day is Zenith. Zenith, okay, great, thank you. So the timer must note that my time starts now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan is our country. We keep on getting rights, rights. When we get out of our home, we see the roads, we see the parks, we see uh, the greenery, we see uh, uh, buildings, each and everything that this country has blessed us. And we think that uh, when we pay the taxes, it is our right to enjoy all these facilities. But turn around this picture and look at who has given this. At least someone has provided this facility. That is why we are considering it as a right. Now I come to the real question that what we have done for Pakistan or what we can do for Pakistan and to discharge our responsibility. Well, first of all is that uh, a good environment or good society comes with a good character. Previously, I was thought that education is a must for Pakistan so that when the Pakistanis are educated, uh, they are well behaved and they can progress it better. But I have seen that now people are doing PhDs, et cetera, et cetera, but uh, Pakistan is not flourishing. So what I have seen is that we need character building of our next generation. So if we can build character building, so we can discharge our responsibilities in a befitting manner. Let's take some examples. For example, if we target that by year 2050, we will be unified. For unity, the Pakistanis uh, wisdom free leech, then only we can do Pakistan progress. So, character building is prime most. Similarly, if we are honest to our uh, environment, we would do plantation. If we want to do anything that Pakistan should have, each and every one should play his role. For example, a teacher must teach honestly, or doctor must treat every a patient honestly and not convert uh, the doctor's things as uh, a mafia. Now let's move on to the politicians. If we have character building of our politicians, only then we have a cleaner polit politics in our country and no one would be able to hijack all these things. So I think whatever ideas I have discussed, it is our responsibility to build the character. Character is basically a seed. If you uh, uh, sow a seed, everything getting out of character would be clean, be it corruption, be it politics, be it education, be it foreign relations. Foreign relations between Pakistan and China, foreign relations between Pakistan and other countries, it should be based on truth and truth comes from character building. So my message is that if we can concentrate on character building of our society, that would be the biggest service of us to our beloved Pakistan. Over to you, Table Topic Master. And this Thank is the you, Master, if, if we uh, do it, we would bring Pakistan to the zenith of development. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Imran. Yes. We got your message. We have to work on the character building and each and every profession 
a professional person should play their vital role for whatever is in capacity. Thank you, Toastmaster Mohammed Imran. Fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests, we cannot, it is a common, we cannot get the importance of the hell until unless we got ill. Or we cannot got the importance of any resource until unless that resource are deplete or that source are take away from us. So if I ask you a question, what is the value of freedom? What is the value of independence? For this, I may request Toastmaster, let me check. Toastmaster, Toastmaster, Akil Saeed. Toastmaster, Akil Saeed, are you with us? Yes, and uh, your question again. So, uh, I think it's the independence versus uh, freedom. Yes, what is the value of freedom or independence? Uh, all right, I, I think independence and freedom more, more or less means the same thing. People um, talk about uh, independence, uh, independence from, for, for example, uh, Chinese national holiday is October 1st to celebrate the establishment of the People's Republic of China. That is uh, our uh, uh, national holiday to, uh, to establish a new China. That's a, when it was a new China compared with old China, that means um, the new China is, uh, it, we, we have a uh, hundred years to fight against the, the colony, against the feudal society, and against the uh, imperialism. So this is a, uh, after the uh, independence from those uh, we call the free mountains uh, of hostile forces against the people, we celebrate the freedom of uh, people's rights. So within, uh, since 1949, uh, when New China was established, we celebrate not only this uh, in independence, but also freedom of the people's rights. So um, now through the, uh, uh, through the struggle with the people, when the people united under the Communist Party's rule, we uh, created the uh, uh, created this uh, political stability and economic prosperity. Now, people at my uh, my generation totally enjoy the unity of the national unity. Uh, you enjoy the uh, peaceful, safe, and rich life, and that is. Um, what we we have uh, from the independence uh, of the hostile forces, and also we, we people enjoy the freedom. Now, uh, freedom come at a price. So we understand because these are generations of generations of struggle uh, uh, of our Chinese people. So we preserve those uh, fighting spirits, and we cherish the national unity, and we ourselves do our best. To, uh, uh, to keep that uh, status quo, to make our people enjoy our life and our young generation continue uh, living the life we have at the moment. Uh, we may, we try, strive to make a better future for our people. Back to you, to Toastmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster Said, by highlighting by giving the example of Chinese, but the independence requires a cost, which we pay in the shape of different ways. When each and every one will get responsible, then our country will reach at the point of zenith. Thank you, Toastmaster Said. Fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests, my, may I request you to use the word of the day during the course of the meeting. And the word of today is zenith. Fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests, if we look at our country, we have a mountain ranges from the northern areas. We have a great reservoir in Kapike, Balochistan, Sin. We have a great spread land for the cultivation in Punjab and Sin and rest of the province. And we have got 70 after 75 years of the independence, today we are celebrating 
70 itself we are of independence but still we are trying still we are underdeveloped so what is the reason behind this if we are all this question what is the reason behind this if we have uh, enough resources but still we are underdeveloped for this i may request the let me check Toastmaster Anas, Toastmaster Anas, are you with us? Toastmaster Anas? Okay, let me check another. Toastmaster Umar Hussain. Toastmaster Umar Hussain, are you with us? Umar, you're muted. You need to unmute yourself. Toastmaster uh, Ahmed, he is the evaluator for table topics, so he cannot participate in table topic session. I can if I'm okay. Okay, to Toastmaster. <laughs> I know, but technically you cannot. Yeah. Okay, right. no, he, so can. Can he can. He can. It's okay. He can. That's okay. He's the evaluator. That, that's okay. That's okay. Still, he can. Yes. Yes, he okay. can. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then go ahead. Civil topic master Toastmaster Amir. It's a very interesting question that uh, comes to everyone's mind every day, and I think um, the link the list is very long. If we start, and I don't know where to start from. First, I would uh, consider it uh, the uh, location of Pakistan is so strategic that uh, it has been always a center of fights going on between big nations of the powers, Western or American, you know, like just, you know, what's going on in Afghanistan in the last few months, we can see it, unfortunately, it had its impacts in Pakistan. So it's... Uh, the positioning of Pakistan from the day one uh, has been that we, has, we have been always influenced by other major powers. I would consider that the first thing. And the second thing is linked to this, that uh, the power struggle between our own uh, democratic forces and the law enforcement agencies because of that influence. This power struggle was another reason that we could not have a sustained system of uh, economic growth by putting all the efforts. We didn't have a continuity in the last 70 years. Government has been changed instantly. The third is a population factor. We are now paying attention to control the population. Uh, to a lot of taboos, we were not uh, putting focus or ties uh, on this uh, issue, but now, we are doing that. So this is the third thing. Fourth, uh, obviously this all, uh, when we have these issues, power struggle and uh, leadership is not there for a long period of time, then the problem of corruption arises because people take advantage of these situations. So I would say that these all are the factors that uh, Pakistan has been unfortunate in the past for not doing getting that prosperity that we were expecting over to you toastmaster Amar. thank you toastmaster Amar, by highlighting the very important factors that's why pakistan yet not reach at its any if we work on that factor resolve then definitely our country will reach it from developed nation to uh, developing nation towards the developed nation thank you toastmaster Amar Hussain. Fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests, may I request the speakers before they talk about kindly pin the timer so that they, they can take care of the time. Fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests, it is saying that the dream is not what you see in the sleep, 
but the dream which don't let you sleep. For this, I may request Toastmaster, Toastmaster Shafakar, Toastmaster Shafakar, are you with us? Toastmaster Shafakar. I think it's Shafakar, right? Can you please repeat the question? I can't hear you. Hello? Yes, Toastmaster. Toastmaster Shafakar, it is saying that a dream is not what you see in sleep, but a dream which don't let you sleep. Over to you, Toastmaster Shafakar. It is very truly said that every it is very truly said that every nation should stand up for their rights and our nation should uh, stand for their rights uh, like other nations we need uh, we need uh, uh, we need skilled persons we need uh, more opportunities in pakistan and we should everyone should work hard in our uh, country uh, the the main problem is literacy rate in our country is very low and everyone should uh, every literate person should uh, try to uh, try to literate other person who is illiterate the literacy rate is very low in our country if we uh, this is a dream this is a, a dream come true if if a literate person teaches an uh, an illiterate person definitely it will uh, do a great impact on everyone's life uh, that's how uh, it goes in a skill working if we uh, if we teach a, a skills to another unskilled man it's a great way to uh, achieve targets in every in every field and everyone should see uh, that what what uh, what he can do for the betterment of the society in my opinion everyone should uh, teach another person the skill he best known uh, like i uh, likewise uh, because our country is far behind the uh, far behind the uh, civilized or uh, uh, civilized nations because uh, we have very very uh, 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 large amount of population large uh, population which is unskilled so uh, the dreams come true when you uh, work hard to achieve the targets this is my main uh, uh, my answer to uh, your question that we should work hard thank you very much over to you speaker thank you dosmaster shafka the dreams comes true when we work hard thank you dosmaster fellow dosmasters and distinguished guests the format of table topic session is i will float the topic and then randomly pick you so you have to be careful i may pick anyone from this session from this from all of you fellow dosmasters and distinguished guests it is saying that if a peaceful mind generate a power if we are overworked if we are not uh, overburdened then we can achieve our targets then we can achieve whatever we are assigned so what is the way to get the peaceful mind in order to achieve what we are assigned what we are targeted a peaceful mind a generate a power a power which lead you to path of the success for this i may call upon toastmaster sorry to cut you out uh, but uh, we are done with table topics time because it's a 10 minute namaz break and then at 5:15 we have speeches so if we can confirm the from the timer if we have more time else we can stop the table topics here okay mr timer can we have a spare time to continue uh, uh i think we can take the last uh, speaker okay. and then we can go for the break okay thank you over to you thank you please repeat the question again please 
It is saying that for achieving the target, for achieving any task, a peaceful mind is necessary. It is saying that peaceful mind can generate the energy. So for this, I may request Toastmaster, Toastmaster, Toastmaster Rehana. Toastmaster Rehana, are you with us? Yes, Toastmaster Amir. Am I audible? Mind. Yes, you are audible and visible. My question is, a peaceful mind generate a power. What is your opinion on this? Over to you, Toastmaster Rehana. Thank you so much, Mr. T Table Topic Master. You have asked me a question uh, about which I think most of the time these days. All of us are so busy for past few decades in the pursuit of happiness. We are running, we are rushing, we want to reach higher, we want to achieve greater and greater success, greater and greater materialistic thing. And in our hearts, in our minds, we believe that they will give us happiness, they will give us peace of mind. But ironically, this is not true. And that's why people, all, most of the people around us are trying to find peace of mind and they are struggling hardly to find peace of mind. They are running, they are rushing to gain happiness, to gain pleasure to and gain success. But they, when they reach the place they want to reach, they find that they have not found happiness, they have not found peace of mind. So in my humble opinion, we should not merely rush after things. When we achieve something, little happiness, little moment of success, we must stop, we must live it, we must celebrate it and then move ahead. Our life is a journey. We don't have one destination and that we will reach there and that will be done. No, this is a journey. We must take naps. We must stop to live the moments. In that way, we will be having moments. We will be having peace of mind and we will be having happiness and pleasure that all of us are struggling to achieve. Over to you, Mr. Table Topic Master. Thank you, Toastmaster Rehana. Bye. Wonderfully explained your thoughts. Mr. Timer, should we take a break for the prayer? And uh, yes, but should I uh, should I uh, announce the results? Yeah, we need to vote for uh, the table top speaker. So she will tell the name. Uh, the uh, yes, uh, Toastmaster has said. Uh, can all the is... yes, please continue. Uh, please let me confirm the my time table topic speakers uh, table topic sessions time is over or we have a few minutes so uh, that sir, I may uh, you can wrap up now okay fellow toastmasters and distinguished guests it was our last toastmaster rehana was our last speaker fellow toastmasters and distinguished guests in life we have to set the core values we have to say that will build our character, which is combination of our personality, morality, and the profession we are choosing. This will lead us to the path of the needs. With this, I may conclude my session and hope you enjoy the session. Over to you, Toastmaster of the evening. Yes, Toastmaster Rapia, if you could please let us know if all of the table topic speakers have qualified. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster Saira. Uh, all the speakers have qualified except Toastmaster Im Muhammad Imran. He exceeded uh, the time. Over okay. to you, Toastmaster Saira. Okay. Uh, so, Toastmaster Rihanna would now um, probably ask you for the votes. Right, Toastmaster Hana? 
Uh, yes, Toastmaster Saira, just give me a moment. Sure, take your time. Meanwhile, we can go on a break as well. And ideally, we should have been back by 5.15, but can we take it to 5.20 maybe? What do you say, Toastmaster Hassan? Yeah, okay. 10 minutes break. Okay, so we, meanwhile, TM Rihanna will be sharing a link with you in the chat using which you can poll online. And we will be back at 5.20 to start with the next segment. Thank you, everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Is Toastmaster Saira there? Yes, Toastmaster Imran. Uh, yeah, Toastmaster Saira, the president of ICMAP Toastmasters Club, Mr. Farasad, uh, was the assigned uh, grammarian and uh, mm -hmm. he requested me uh, assigned grammarian. Mm -hmm. So, who would be working as the grammarian? Perhaps uh, you took this responsibility? Uh, we have assigned it to the sergeant in arms, who is Toastmaster Salman, and he will kindly uh, do the grammarian's role for today in place Fair of enough. Toastmaster for us. Fair enough. Fair enough. Thank you. But that is what I wanted to confirm. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, 
अरे मेला छामो क्या करती Yeah, yeah. Perfect. There was a boy in his 20s in the year 1947. He was studying at Shimla during that year. When the riot started, his father came to pick him from Shimla boarding school and took him towards Pakistan. He and his father were, of course, living in the Mahaja camps during those days. And one of his friends, who was a Hindu, he used to bring him laddus from his puja. That was a human-to-human -human connection which was prevalent even those times of war. After a lot of trials and tribulations when he and his father, they reached Pakistan. He started his career in Pakistan Air Force and was a very successful person. However, this success and this freedom, as one of the fellow Toastmasters also mentioned, it came at a price. His mother could not reach Pakistan. She was coming along with the caravan of the whole um, villagers and all of the other family members. And because of the massacre, his mother could not reach Pakistan. This is the story of my grandfather who died about three years back. But this is one story that he has been telling us over and over again. At that time, there were different emotions amongst the people who migrated towards Pakistan. And it was not that all of the Hindus were bad towards them. There were people who helped them and there were people who were part of the atrocities as well. So at the end of the day, it is a human to human connection. With this, let's move on to our next segment, which is that of the prepared speeches. The first speech is going to be from a seasoned Toastmaster, Toastmaster Muhammad Yasin from ICMAP Toastmasters Club. The speech is going to be evaluated by TM Anas Mansu. TM Anas 
can we please hear what is the purpose of the speech? Thank you, Mr. Master of the evening. The title of this speech is Connect with Storytelling. Toastmaster Yasin will deliver a speech by incorporating a story in it. All the best, Toastmaster Yasin. Perfect. So Toastmaster Yasin, please pin the timer, Toastmaster Rabia. And now the floor is all yours. You can begin your speech. Thank you very much. Uh, Toastmasters and guests, who don't want to live happy life? If I may ask you, who don't want to live prosperous life? Everybody wants to live happy and prosperous life. My second question to you would be, what is the recipe of this, this result? What is the recipe of success? We all talk about success. We all want to live prosperous and a healthy life. Go ahead. Ingredients. Failure is, failure. Failure. failure is the first uh, ingredient for the recipe of success. If you ingredient. fail, you are going okay. to surely going to succeed in future. Or consistency. Consistency. Wow. Consistency. Consistency. If you are able to manage your time properly, if you know how manage to manage time, do time management. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Wonderful. Courage. Wonderful. Courage. 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 Passion. Enthusiasm. Planning. Strategizing. Persistency. Sheer action. Despite of all these things, Karudos masters and uh, honorable guests, still. We see, we observe in our daily life. We see people struggling in their life. They have all the knacks, but still they struggle behind. And few people with a less potential, with the apparent less potential, they get maximum reserve. Why is that? Have you observed those things? There are hidden factors as well, those masters and guests. Let me share you with you, one of the hidden factor of this all phenomena, and that is livers, sending livers to the universe. I call this sending livers to the universe. Before going, before sharing a story with you in this relevant, in this context, I would like to describe what liver does. Science student might know this, what L-E-V-E-R, what liver does. With, an, with the help of liver, you can uplift heaviest of the weight. With a minimum effort, you can uplift heaviest of the weight. That is the function of liver. Simple, but very effective. Ladies and gentlemen, we all have to send liver to the universe. I'll share with you a story. It was an icy cool evening of 20th December 2019. I was having a walk in F9 Park. It is my routine. Not only it gave me physical strength, but also it gave me mental nourishment. I reflect in my life. I was having a bad patch. The weather was gloomy. There was cloud in the sky. And my mood was also gloomy because I was going through a financial crunch. Exactly, I needed about 1.2 million rupees to pay off a debt. And it was going through, it was lingering for a few months. Now I am a management accountant. I am a commercial advisor and I'm going through a financial crunch. That is the sorrow state of mind. My mind presented me three solutions. First was to sell my plot or car and fetch the money. Second was to revert to the bank. Third was to seek help from any quintus. Now, first solution. First solution, I can easily fetch money, but it would hinder my mobility. That is necessity nowadays. Disregarded this option. Second was 
to revert to a bank. Now again, it was a kind of thing, felling it to another trap, trap after coming out from one trap. The third option was relatively easy and the best option to seek help from any loved one, acquaintance, or friend. Now, my self-respect came into the way and then I disregarded all the option and looked in the sky and asked the Almighty, I don't want to beg anyone. I don't want to beg anyone except you. Ladies and gentlemen, the next day I went to my office, the first thing which I did, and it was automatic. It was automatic. The next day, the first thing which I did in my office, I, I called one of the relatives, one of the loved ones to whom I have grievance for a few months. I called him and after that call, the grievance was no more. The weather was still icy. The weather was still cloudy, but there was a spring in the air. After that call, there was a spring and stride in my feet. Office boy came rushing to me, sir, Mr. Yasin, you have a great announcement. The company announced for all of the employees, bonus, and for you especially, eight years of five years that have been pending. And that amount, ladies and gentlemen, was more than what I needed. More than what I needed. It was not a coincidence, ladies and gentlemen. There was something. Ladies and gentlemen, the liver, you might have guessed, the liver was a small act of kindness. A small act of kindness of that telephone call. That was a liver that I sent to the universe. And that magic that happened and that solved my problem. You need those kind of livers. We all need these kind of livers in our life. Despite having all the things, despite of our planning, our sheer effort, we don't get. Sometimes we don't get what we want. And uh, let me tell you very frankly, with the livers, if you send liver to the universe, you might get what you haven't thought about, what you even haven't thought about. So ladies and gentlemen, fellow those masters and guests, besides working on, I'm not denying the importance of those things. All the success recipes that we all know are important, but the hidden factor, we don't have to ignore the hidden factor. It happens to all of us that we get trapped in the apparent picture. We see and we work. One of the topic was to go slow. With uh, one of the topic in the top, topic session was to adopt the rhythm of the nature. So, but it was and guess with this, I would like to thank all of you. And uh, this is my message: sending labor to the universe. Thank you very much. Thank you, Toastmaster Yasin. That was a wonderful story and it had a great message as well. So a perfect composition. Now moving on to the next speaker. He is the president of Raul Pindi Toastmasters Club, a very seasoned Toastmaster as well. Let's welcome Toastmaster Hassan Akram. And he is going to be evaluated by Toastmaster Imran from ICMAP Toastmasters Club. Toastmaster Imran, could you please let us know the purpose of Toastmaster Hassan's speech? Toastmaster Imran, are you connected with us? I think he's temporarily disconnected. Toastmaster Hassan, would you like to explain the purpose of your speech? Yeah, but the person who's going to evaluate is not here. Oh, yeah, he's here. You, you he's can check one more time. Yeah.
Yes, Toastmaster Hassan Akram, I'm over there to tell the evaluation criteria, if you want. Sure, sure. Okay, yes, just thank tell you so much. the purpose of the speech. Okay, unfortunately, I was disconnected, so I have just resumed the connection. So the president of uh, Rawal Pindi Toastmasters Club, Mr. Hassan Akram, is right now doing the pathway named Presentation Mastery. And his project, he is doing his project three, and its name is Effective Body Language, and he's doing its level three. So as per criteria of Toastmaster International, what is requirement of his today's project? Today, Mr. Hassan Akram would show his learning, his practice and refining of his body language. The body language includes two major ingredients, that is the movement and hand gestures. The Toastmaster International criteria say that when, whenever you are talking, sometimes intentional body language is coming and sometimes unintentional body language is coming up. So Mr. Hassan is required to control and be aware of his unintentional gestures. And he has to bring up with the intentional gestures so that they enhance their message. And he can opt any style, be it humorous, uh, be it informative or any other style, he is required to present a well-organized speech and his time is five to seven minutes. So all the best, Mr. President, for a wonderful speech. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Toastmaster Hassan, please pin the timer, TM Rabia. And the floor is yours. Hello, my name is Hassan. And today I'm going to talk about body language. I think I'm very shy. I can do it. Your body language can make or break your presentation. An audience decides within a few seconds if the speaker on the stage is confident or not by looking at his body language. The way I started my speech. If I kept on speaking the same way, I'm sure no one would listen to my speech. Now the question is, what is body language? Body language is a known verbal communication. You may not realize, but you send out silent non-verbal signals to people every day. This is your body language and it can reveal how you truly feel and perhaps your words don't. Body language might include your facial expressions, your eye contact, your voice tone and your hands movement. And today I'm going to talk about techniques on how you can improve your body language and be a confident speaker. The very first thing I'm gonna talk about is the eye contact. Eye contact is very important. And that is why it is a very famous song. Because you can literally fire bullets through your eyes. Just kidding. Always maintain solid eye contact with the person you're speaking to and try to hold the case for two seconds at a time. This indicates that you are sincere and attentive. On the other hand, if you are looking fair and fair, the person might feel that you are not interested in the, in the conversation. When you are talking to someone, you shouldn't be looking all around the room or gazing out of the window. Take a deep breath and look into the eyes calmly. Second thing I'm going to talk about is smile. Your smile should express your confidence and enthusiasm. Avoid the resting face. The resting face is when your face is totally relaxed, showing no emotion. This is my resting face. Do you like it? Do you want me to talk to you like this for the rest of my speech? No, of course not. However, it's just not humanly possible to smile all the time. If you keep smiling artificially, your facial muscles will become tired and your smile will look fake. And a fake smile can actually have a negative effect on your listener. So the solution is smile broadly at the start of the conversation when you're meeting someone or when you say goodbye to someone. But during the rest of the conversation, be a soft smile on your face, just enough that you're engaged in the discussion. The third thing I'm gonna talk about is hands movement. In any national conversation, we use our hands a lot. We make a lot of gestures. This is good and it's natural. 
The problem is when you don't have control over it. Sometimes when we have conversation in foreign language like English, we might have trouble coming up with the right words or ideas. And this ups our anxiety level. And as a result of that, our heart rate speeds up and our hand gestures get out of the control. So you need to have a composed hand movement. For example, spreading your hands with your palms facing towards your audience indicates a willingness to communicate and share your ideas. You must have observed that most motivational speakers always have their hands like this towards the audience because this shows openness and receptiveness. At the same time, it is important to maintain control. Too much hand movement can distract from what you're saying. The third thing I'm gonna talk about is posture. There are two types of posture, close body posture, open body posture. For example, if someone you're speaking to is standing with his arms folded tightly across his body, he's probably not happy with what you're saying. With the right body language, you can convey openness, confidence, and receptiveness. For example, you can make a confident and positive first impression by standing with an open posture, that's relaxed and upright, and by keeping your hands on by your sides. One of the most common mistakes I see in people is around it back. This signals a lack of confidence. At the same time, you don't want to puff up your chest like you're ready for a fight. Remember, you're not so down by pun intended. So just relax, stand up like this, keep your chin level with the other person's chin. You don't want to be looking at them with an upward face because this indicates you never get. And you don't want to be looking down as you're feeling shy. Instead, maintain a straight line with the underneath your chin to the other person. The, th the last thing I'm going to talk about is the voice tone. When you're talking to someone, it is very important that you slow down and pronounce your words clearly. Someone who is talking the speed of light is possible to understand probably at a I didn't say anything because I was speaking too fast. If you want to understand how speaking fast looks like, open up your WhatsApp, play a voice note with 2x speed, and then you will realize that you will not be able to understand even a single word. So slow down, take a deep breath, and talk slowly. I'm sure if you inculcate all these steps and improve your body language, you can become a great public speaker. At the end, I want to say it is not important what to say. It is important how you say it. Thank you. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Hassan. That was a wonderful speech with lots of lessons for all of us of how to communicate through our body language. Now let's hear it from Toastmaster Rabia if both the speakers have qualified. Uh, unfortunately, Toastmaster Yasin couldn't qualify, qualify uh, but Toastmaster Hassan has qualified. Oh, okay. okay, got it. Which means that we would not need um, the voting for this segment. Let's now yes. move on. towards the rest of the proceedings. Ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan's response to COVID has been appreciated by all the countries across the globe. However, there are certain areas where we are weak. Our, our individuals, such as uh, students who are doing ACCAs and who are competing in O levels, A level exams across the globe, they are making us proud. But again, these are individual achievements and the respective teamwork areas are weak. I would especially like to mention the two individual sports persons who brought laurels for Pakistan in the recent Olympics. But again, overall, as a country, we are weak in sports. Same goes for our logistics, same goes for our ease of doing business. All of these statistics, what are these representing? They are representing the feedback 
from global organizations such as World Economic Forum, World Health Organization, or coming across from any institution. These are all the feedback, and this feedback can be the basis of our improvement if we pay attention to this feedback. Toastmaster International also recognizes the importance of evaluation and feedback, and they have made it compulsory to receive this feedback in a positive manner for the improvement of their members. Our, our last segment is going to be about evaluations. And the general evaluator today is the area director of Area 9, Toastmaster Akash Kumar. Let's all give him a round of applause. Toastmaster Akash Kumar, the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam General Evaluator. Am I audible and visible? Yes. Okay. So, fellow Toastmasters of Rawalpindi Toastmasters Club and a prestigious club, ICMB Toastmasters Club, and our distinguished and honorable guests, I welcome you all to a session, to a segment of a Toastmasters meeting, which is called a heart of a Toastmasters meeting, which is a valuation segment. So it will be an honor for me that it is an honor for me that I am evaluating. I, I, I am the general evaluator of the first joint meeting between Rawal Bini Toastmasters Club and ICMB Toastmasters Club. So I will be calling the team of evaluator who will be pointing out the good things and the speaker, and they will suggest the area of improvements in their speeches. And in the end, I will evaluate the session as a whole. So the first team member of my team is the table topic evaluator. He's a director, Karachi operations. He is trader of Rawalpindi Toastmasters Club. He's a very passionate Toastmasters Club and he's a very humble guy. With your huge round of applause, Toastmaster Umar Hussain. Sir, the virtual stage is your for table topic evaluation. Uh, Umar, you're muted. Umar, you're muted. Sorry. Sorry, guys. So. So I'll not take say it again. We'll start right away from here. I'll be evaluating today um, table topic session. Um, I'll start with the first table topic speaker, Toastmaster Imran. The question was, what shall we do for our country? What shall we give back? Because we already we always expect from our country, and what shall we do? Toastmaster Imran. I really like the way you talk, you spoke your heart out. Um, you were so much expressive in your emotions, in your tone, your voice was very clear and loud that uh, we should put efforts to on character building because uh, normally we think that education will make people change, but you mentioned how everybody, especially highly educated people, doctors, other professionals and also the politicians, how shall they behave, uh, how they shall bring the change in their character. So this thing goes on and it will affect ultimately, this behavior will bring the change and people will perform better and we'll see prosperity. Amazing speech, good response. Uh, and you also use the word of the week. I would consider one thing that when you have a Zoom meeting, I was just a little uh, suggestion that looking at uh, camera is very important for eye contact. That thing was missing. Otherwise, your speech was really amazing. Hats off to your speech. The next we had Toastmaster Daniel. Toastmaster Daniel uh, was, I think, taken by surprise. He was not ready. But as a seasoned Toastmaster, he just handled the situation really well and uh, explained how, what is the true sense of celebration 
how to arrange the bunting and flags and cake cutting and wearing the dress and celebrate. He brought the festivity in his speech. And uh, he also mentioned how his brother is still busy decorating the house. So he really got the rhythm back and a very good response by Toastmaster Daniel. Uh, only thing was missing today was energy, the usual energy of Toastmaster Daniel that was missing rest, amazing speech. We had Toastmasters say, yeah, Toastmasters say the, I really like about your speech was your clarity of voice uh, and uh, the way you explain the importance of uh, the freedom, like the Chinese got their uh, independence on 1st October 1949. And uh, then you mentioned that uh, that was a country before as well, but after civil war, how you given so much sacrifices and you got the independence again in 1949 and its importance. Your voice was clear and you were very confident in your speech. And uh, it was amazing. The only thing was eye contact. Uh, if you could look straight to the camera, that would make much, much better speech. Next, uh, I was the speaker. I would evaluate myself. And next, Toastmaster Shafat, you did an amazing thing. Your speech was, the topic was dream is not what you see in sleep, but it's something that don't let you sleep. So you entirely shift the topic to something else. That's the amazing thing. I think when you are not sure about the topic, you spoke about uh, the very important thing. The takeaway is that we have a large population in Pakistan and how we could make it more useful by helping each other and uh, then letting people know the skill we have. Sharing this skill will make people more uh, productive. Amazing takeout, excellent speech. But I would just suggest something that the camera usage, uh, if you could, uh, while speech sit and have a camera and look at the camera. You were sometime lying in the bed. Next was Toastmaster Rihanna. Amazing response. The speech was uh, peaceful mind. And uh, she mentioned how we are running and rushing towards materialistic thing. And we are focusing on the end and not enjoying the moment, the time passing, because life's a journey. We should enjoy each moment that we are passing through, each second, because it's not our goal is not to get something somewhere in the future. It is to enjoy everything what you have. And excellent takeaway. Uh, boys, clarity, message, some everything is amazing. No recommendation for you, Toastmaster Vanna. Over to you, Mr. General Elevator. That's all from my side. Thank you, Table Topic Evaluator, Toastmaster Umar Hussain, for your insightful evaluation. Now, the next person I would like to call on stage to evaluate the speech of Toastmaster Yasin from ICMB Toastmaster Club. That person is one of my inspiration. He works in KPMG, one of the big three. He is the immediate past area director of Area 9. With your huge round of applause, Toastmaster Anas Mansoor. The virtual stage is yours, sir. Thank you so much, Mr. General Evaluation, for a very humbling introduction. Distinguished guests and fellow Toastmaster, today we had the honor of listening to one of the most experienced Toastmaster of Twin Cities. Toastmaster Yasin, the purpose of his speech was to incorporate story within his speech. And there were many things that I simply speech, but I would shrink it to four main points that I simply love. First of who do not want to be happy? Now, everyone wants to be happy. So everyone was hooked. And simultaneously, he asked another question. What is the ingredient of success? And everyone was giving their input. So audience was engaged from the very, very start. Hand gestures were 
very well managed throughout the speech and every word he was saying that was complemented by his hand gestures so i simply love the way he used his hand gestures he had strategic pauses during his speech now when you have pauses and these pauses are intentional it makes the message seep in and the audience is able to exactly comprehend what you are trying to say so excellent the story was very well crafted initially he built some momentum by asking question then he shared his own story and then he had a powerful conclusion that you have to perform all these acts if you really want to be successful and you should throw the levers in universe but like every speech there are some areas of improvement in my humble opinion i will highlight three of them first of all time management he um could not complete his speech within the allocated time so time management is very very important that can be improved by practicing more secondly i believe that this particular speech was very close to his heart because he shared a time where he was going through financial crunch and i noticed that there was sort of monotony in his face expressions throughout his speech when a person is down i believe that face expressions should communicate the same message that we are trying to um communicate so i believe that that could have been improved, improved when he said that he was working through a very tough time where he needed 1.5 million rupees and it has been lingering on third use of virtual stage could have been improved but overall it was a very very good speech i would love to listening more from him. over to you mr janal valley thank you toast master anas mansoor for such a summarized evaluation the next person i would like to call on stage to evaluate the speech of toast master hasan akram he is a cost management accountant by profession he is a visiting lecturer in different universities he is a toast master from past 10 years he is the past president of icmb toast masters club he is none other than with a huge round of applause toast master imran sir the stage is yours Thank you so much Mr Akash Kumar well ladies and gentlemen today i had the privilege to evaluate the speech of our very own Mr Hasan Akram Hasan Akram was required to present a speech on the body movement and today i would like to evaluate his speech first of all let's comment on the things that he excelled on the speech requirement was that his hand gestures facial expressions body movement eye contact should merge and should, should synergize with the content if we look at the content he had a wonderful research on every facet of the facial expressions and when we move on to the uh, body language non verbal communication he did great experiments the par pose the joining of hands uh, the eye contact tips the smile tips open hands and he did so many intentional movements it was a full sea it was a full ocean of learning how we can cohere how we can join how we can blend your facial expressions your body language with the content so that was the point that he excelled at so 100% numbers marks on that so that was about body language gestures the second requirement ladies and gentlemen was the movement unfortunately hasan akram had a limited space space to present on uh, he had hardly 2 to 3 feet area so he was not able to move from left to right come to the stage near the audience and his movement was limited 
one of the key requirement was is that he should excel on the movement as well. Unfortunately, he couldn't do it. Now let me uh, evaluate the speech on technical grounds. First of all, let's talk on the clarity. Mr. Hassan Akram is blessed with a great accent, but today he spoke on a very fast pace. So when his great accent was blended with the speech, his clarity died down and his language was not clear. So that is the point that he liked to improve. Number two, vocal variety. Mr. Hassan Akram is not monotonous and he has a little bit variety. But I would like to recommend him that due to his fast pace, he should learn to have pauses. When he takes pauses, um, let's suppose I have taken a pause. Now I have the liberty to take my speech on the high tone or take my speech to low tone. So this makes me to experiment. And this blended with high volume, uh, low volume, this would bring great vocal variety into his speech. Now let's move on to the eye contact. Mr. Hassan Akram was standing at a distance and his eye contact was not on the right, on the middle, on the left. So that was missing. Overall, he was uh, aware of the audience requirement. He was not comfortable, he was in a hurry. But his great areas were the smile, his hand gestures, his powerful pose. Now, challenge. Challenge is that you have to improve on these things and bring a wonderful speech, gentlemen. Thank you. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Imran, for to the point evaluation of Toastmaster Hassan Akram. Now is the time for the reports of role plays. And the first role play I would like to call upon is Madam Timer. Madam Timer, Toastmaster mm -hmm. Rabia Tariq, uh, can we have your report, please? Uh, all the evaluators have qualified. Should I uh, give the report of all the speakers? Yes, all the speakers uh, from the spot, uh, from the start with their time. Okay. First was uh, Toastmaster Dhyanan. Uh, he took two minutes, four seconds. Toastmaster Imran, three minutes, 21 seconds. Guest Say two minutes, 30 seconds. Uh, uh, Toastmaster Omar, two minutes, 15 seconds. Uh, guest Shafkat, two minutes, 11 seconds. Toastmaster Rihanna, two minutes, five seconds. Then uh, coming to the speakers, Toastmaster Yasin, he took seven minutes and 45 seconds. Toastmaster Hassan uh, took six minutes and seven seconds. Evaluations. Toastmaster Umar was table topic evaluator. He took five minutes and 15 seconds. Toastmaster Anas took three minutes and 17 seconds. And Toastmaster Imran took three minutes and 24 seconds. That's all from my side. Thank you, Toastmaster. Toastmaster Rabia Tarek. Meanwhile, I'm taking the reports. Yeah. We are taking the reports of role base. I would like to request you to please vote for the best evaluators since Toastmaster Rabia has already announced the qualification criteria of the evaluators. So, um, Madam, vote counter, uh, please launch the poll. Okay, so she has shared in the chat box. The next uh, role pair I would like to call upon is the grammarian. So Toastmaster Salman Hussain, uh, can we have your report, please? Uh, Toastmaster Salman Hussain, can we have your report, please? I guess, Toastmaster, uh, Akash Kumar, am I audible and visible? Yes, you are audible and visible. Okay, let me back to the oh, sure. Thank you to general evaluator, Toastmaster Akash Kumar. Hello, Toastmaster, and guests. First of all, congratulations to every speaker. Every speaker spoke very well. Hats off to everyone in today's joint session. And of course, it was Independence Day, and we got the chance to listen to everyone. Now, coming to my report best use of words, phrases, and vocabulary. I've noticed everyone used 
So he would raise his hand carefully with his individual. Light, vital, hostile, prevalent, prosperity, striving, passion, pursuit of happiness, consistency, and so forth. And there were some thoughts used during the meeting by Dreams come true when we have power in ourselves. And our life is a game. These were some of the best quotes used by some of these people during their speech. Now, coming to grammar, there were very minor mistakes committed by some of these speakers, which are, of course, negligible. So I'm not I'm not going to hear those negligible mistakes. Now the last report is very important and the use of the word of the day. Except few speakers, I couldn't hear the use of the word from any other speakers. Few of them them were Postmaster Rehana, Postmaster Ignaz, Postmaster Amir Gulik, Postmaster Saira, Postmaster Prasad, and Postmaster Rehana. So what do you Thank you, Postmaster Salman Hussain, for your report. The next role pair I would like to call upon is our R counter, that is Toastmaster Hazar Bacha from ICBP Toastmasters Club. Toastmaster Hazar Bacha, the stage is yours. Uh, thank you so much, journal evaluator. I will be present uh, presenting my report of uh, a counter. Uh, today I observed uh, that uh, TM Daniel has uh, uh, used the ah and om um, uh, uh, six time uh, words so one time and repetition of p uh, words two time. Muhammad Imran ah one time um one time and uh, two time and repetition of word one time. Mr. Umar Hussain ah one time um one time and repetition of word one time. Mr. Uh, Shafkat, ah, one time, om word, uh, one time, and repetition three time. Uh, TM Rehana, uh, only one time, ah, word. Yasin word, only two time. And Mr. Hassan Akram did not uh, do any ah, and um, that's my report. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Hazir Bacha, for presenting your report so professionally. Now, I would like to evaluate this meeting in general. So, first of all, I would like to congratulate the executive committee, the members of both clubs, that is, Travel Pini Toastmasters Club and ICMAP Toastmasters Club to conduct such a successful and technical sound meeting. Both clubs are at their zenith. And that is a perfect time for both clubs to interact with, with each other. That's how we get to know that, that's how the members of Rubble Pity Toastmasters Club get to know to who Toastmaster Farasat is, who Toastmaster Imran is, who Toastmaster Hazar Bacha is. And that's how the members of ICME Toastmasters Club get to know that who Toastmaster Hassan is, who Toastmaster Rabia, who Toastmaster Umar is. That's how when we interact with each other, we learn, we learn and we go. Because individually, we are a drop. Together, we are an ocean. So congratulations to both club for running a successful show. The meeting started a few minutes late, but that is ex 
expectable. That is understandable that there are two clubs and there are a lot of role plays from both clubs. And that is that is understandable. So the Sajid at Arms started with zeal, zeal and Zest, though we don't have the official Sajid at Arms with us. Toastmaster Hassan, the president of Rawalpindi Toastmasters Club, started, what a wonderful way to start. He started with a thought-provoking question that how many of you are in the movement? Then he gave his presidential address and he handed over to the president of ICBB Toastmasters Club, who gave his presidential address about the current day, that is 14th August. And if you look at it, what a beautiful tradition is. Two clubs, two presidents sharing their insights and giving the opportunity to each other and in such a beautiful transition. So that was wonderful. Though we started late, but let me commend it that the transitions between the segments, between the table topic segments, between the the you know, Toastmaster of the evening and the speeches, they were up to the mark. The table topic master was brilliant. He came up with the questions related to the theme. The Toastmaster of the evening, she started with the, with the national anthem and she engaged every one of us and we all were singing national anthem and we all were invigorated and we have the passion, we, we all become passionate and we all become involved in the meeting. So excellent job, uh, well done Toastmaster Saira Parvez. Table Topic Master come up with a question related to the theme and we all are passionate to speak about. So hats off to you Table Topic Master. The evaluations were very insightful. All the evaluators use sandwich approach and the speeches were top notch from the recipe of success and the speech about body language. So we all agree that we, we have learned from the speeches today. There are a few recommendations which I would like to recommend. Did the table did the table topic masters come up with brilliant questions related to the theme, but I would recommend that first call the speaker, then give him or her a topic. Because when you are calling a person, uh, because when you are giving a question in general, the P may, there is a condition that people are not attentive because they are listening the question in general. But when you call a speaker on the stage, then you give a question then he or she can become focused on that question. So that is my humble recommendation. Another recommendation I would like to give is that if you look in the agenda, it is written that the table topic master will call the non-role plays and the guest. So what I would like to recommend that it is totally understandable that this is the first joint ses sessions between two clubs and between the two new executive committees. But I would like to recommend that we can plan it earlier. Like we can plan it in such a way that there is a planning from both clubs and they can decide, okay, we have eight table topic contestants. There will be eight table topic contestants. Four will be from the club, Rawalpindi Toastmasters Club, four will be from the ICMB Toastmasters Club. And they can decide their name earlier, which can be the non players. So that can make a table topic session more smooth, in my humble opinion. The, the, though the uh, overall meeting was technically very sound, but I would like to recommend that please, we can do that we can turn off, we can mute the uh, mics of all the speakers in the start. And there can be a technical host. When any speaker is called upon, he can speak on his slot. 
otherwise we can witness that there was continuous bagels pom 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 the mics were not muted so we can understand that this is the day of uh, independence this is an independence day we all are very passionate about uh, jashn e azadi so we can mitigate such instances by muting the mics another thing i would like to recommend is about meeting ethics see i always say that those master is not about public speaking and leadership it's about professionalism as well so currently we are in the virtual environment so the meeting ethics of in person is different in person meetings are different and the meeting ethics of virtual meeting is a little bit different so what i would like to recommend that in virtual environment you need to be professional for example you cannot drink a tea or drink a coffee right if you are doing it you can turn off your camera like you cannot lay down on your bed and you are watching the meeting by laying down on your bed so that's we are here we are here to learn about professionalism if you are attending the virtual meeting you have to be very professional you look you 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 have to be look very professional so overall it was a wonderful meeting i enjoyed thoroughly and looking forward to have such joint sessions again and again not between do these two clubs but between other clubs as well and that's how we can promote harmony that's how we connect with each other so this is all from my side i request the vote counter to please launch the poll for the big three and the big three were toastmaster saira parvez the table topic master toastmaster amir gul and yosh kun toastmaster akash kumar so with this i would like to hand over the meeting to the president of rubble pd toastmasters club as per agenda toastmaster hasan akram the stage is yours sir thank you so much akash for such a detailed evaluation and uh, it was really needed for sure uh, now without wasting further time let's have the introduction from or for the feedback from the guest and uh, for that i would like to call zara on the stage please uh, share our feedback about the meeting yeah thank you hasan uh, it was really good like i learned a lot i attended four sessions as well before there were physical sessions before covid and this time i didn't find any sort of issue because of this online meetup uh, it's same as uh, it used to happen um it was really great and i i feel like i should also be part of those master as a member so i can also participate in speeches and also i can learn um, better about um, how to speak and how to listen more professionally thank you so much zara and you want yeah. to yeah looking forward to having you in our oh. sorry sorry no i was just uh, asking is there anything you want to ask more No, no, that's all. Uh, I'm looking forward to have you in our physical meeting next Saturday for sure. Okay. And uh, thank you so much for joining in. Next, we have uh, Fahmida. If I'm pronouncing it right, uh, Fahmida, can you please unmute your mic and uh, share your feedback? Ji, Assalamu Alaikum. I'm from here, Islamabad, ICMAP. As well, I did. Uh, uh, you hearing me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. okay uh and uh, uh just a minute please sita the president of our rawalpindi toast masters club intends to know your comments please share your comments about today's meeting yeah it's very much nice i'm uh, really happy to join it and i learned a lot um Uh, many things were new to know and to, uh, the especially i don't know uh, my uh, name of the person who told the communication uh, way that how should we communicate uh, that was very good 
table talking was so good evaluating session uh, also uh, impressive and every evaluator uh, took very deeply um, uh, evaluation uh, of each uh, participant so um, it was good uh, so thank you so much Shabila, for your feedback thank you so much uh, next we have guest said uh, guest said can you please uh, share your feedback about today's meeting uh, thank you very much for giving me the floor. Uh, it's a very impressive for the first time in my life that uh, uh, I find a Toastmaster begins, starts with the singing, the national anthem of Pakistan, the first time ever. Uh, unfortunately, I, it's a rather pity for me. I could not sing along with you guys. The only song I learned that's from Pakistan, which is GV Pakistan. Pakistan, Pakistan, JV, Pakistan. I hope I said so that right. <laughs> I want to join you because right now I already personally have already joined in uh, Islamabad. I'm living and working in Islamabad for at least one year. So frequently we'll join you uh, because I have half a time together with you. Uh, I, I most impre um, another impressive uh, thing about the meeting is that the to uh, table topics quite suitable, appropriate for the, this occasion. The first one is about the, how you celebrate the national holiday in Pandas Day. For me, uh, uh, aspects of Chinese living and working in Pakistan, we put on a holiday costume and we, we host the national flag at the gates to celebrate uh, your, your day. Uh, though we celebrate quietly because we do not a lot of the crackers or gunshots. Actually, I did not sleep well last night because the whole day was quite nosy. Uh, we could not sleep well for the whole day and until two or three a.m. You people quite lousy because the, anyway, this is a big day for you guys. So um, very impressive, but uh, we enjoyed the holiday mood with you guys. Um, the, and another topic is about the uh, freedom, independence, and also uh, like the topics. And I uh, uh, and also noticed that you people are very proud, a proud nation. Uh, you people, those there's some uh, kind of uh, you, you you guys know your country situates among the big powers, and there's some some problems uh, politically and the crisis in Afghanistan, etc. But you people. Are, are wise and working hard and uh, a very proud nation as well. Uh, so I'm very happy to, to join you and hopefully I will join you every week. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Said, for such a great feedback. And definitely we look forward to have you in our physical, physical meetings, which we conduct every uh, Saturday in PWD. We're looking forward for that. I'll share my number after the meeting in the chat so that you can contact me. And uh, next up, we have uh, Shabbat. Shafat, would you like to please share your feedback? Uh, Shafat, can you hear me? Okay, next we have Shahid Malik. Uh, Shahid Malik, would you please unmute yourself and uh, share your feedback? Hello, are you hearing me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, this is my second meeting. First, uh, uh, I think uh, I joined the uh, uh, four to five years, maybe back, uh, long ago. And this is a really nice session. And uh, inshallah, if uh, I, I shall be able to join next time, uh, so I will uh, share my feedback in detail, inshallah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for that. Uh, with this, uh, I would like to hand over the meeting to President of uh, ICMIP Club, Toastmaster Prasad Sen, to distribute the awards to the winners and adjourn the meeting. So, Prasad Sen, over to you. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Hassan. Toastmaster and guests, now it's a big occasion, and we are going to hand over the trophies, special trophies, to the winners of. The prepared speakers, table topic, and G and evaluator, and big three. So I would like to, I would like to ask uh, our election commissioner. Uh, I forgot the name. Can you please, uh, you know, share the result? 
Sure. Do you want to go with the best table topics award first? Sure. Team Prasad, do you want me to show the table topics award first? Yes, whatever second, uh, you know, uh, yeah. Start with the table topic, yes. Okay, so let me share my screen. TM Umar Hassan, Hussain. Congratulations, TM Umar. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Next on. Yes, prepare speaker. Yes. Okay, the best prepared speaker was Toastmaster Hassan Akram. All great, Toastmaster Hassan Akram. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well done. Can we Thank move you. to the next one? Please share the best picture. Okay, the best evaluator was to. Toastmaster Imran. Congratulations, Toastmaster Imran. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for joining this session. Toastmaster Imran was, uh, you know, was sick and he joined this session after a very, very long period of time. So welcome back, Toastmaster Imran, and congratulations. And let's have a group photo. Uh, Shara, if you can stop uh, screen share, let me take a group photo. We have the big three award left. Should oh, I sorry. show that? Sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry. But on the least, the big three, the big guns. So, Toastmasters, please share the result. Yes. And the bigger three awards goes to Toastmaster Saira Perez Khan. Congratulations, Toastmaster Saira. Thank you, thank you. All right, uh, I think we are pretty much done with the meeting and let's have a group photo. Everyone, please turn on your cameras and say Bashir. One, two, three, ready? Bashir. 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 Done, done, done. Thank you so much, everyone. And guests, please fill up the form which I've shared in the drive, uh, in the chat. And looking forward to have you all in the next meeting, uh, which is going to be a physical meeting in our location, which is PWD. Uh, see you all next Saturday, 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. And uh, thank you so much once again. And it was a great meeting. We have all learned from each other. So looking forward to have more meetings like this in future. Thank you and bye-bye. And Thank you. Thank, thank you. So thank, much. You, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. It was a wonderful meeting. Please enjoy it really.